RGB to your RAM. Let's go. Right. Computer, 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 computer. Text, 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 text. Hey guys, today we're going to talk about adding RGB to older memory sticks and some of your new me newer memory sticks, the cheaper end models, don't have a heat sink on it and you can get these, these kits where they actually have the heat sink and add RGB. But First, what I want to address is I want to shout out to Will over at the Wong Reviewer and congratulate him for hitting a thousand subscribers today. Actually, it was yesterday. Uh, his last video, he mentioned that he needed like 20 or 10 or what have you to hit, the, to hit that thousand mark. So I want to say congratulations to Will and many more subscribers. And if you, if you want, check him out too. He's got a lot of cool stuff over there. So with that being said, let's get down to the to the nitty gritty. Uh, so I picked up this this kit. It's called uh, Easy D DIY Fab. Uh, I don't know. I'll put a link in the in the video down here below. Uh, but what I want to do is unbox this, show you what we have or what you get out of the uh, in the box. And uh, I'm going to show you how to install it. Um, and uh, so let's, uh, let's get started on this. And we'll go ahead and rearrange everything. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys. So what you get in this kit is uh, two of the, the heat sinks with the RGB actually on them. There's one. And here's two. They are metal, so they they, they feel pretty they feel pretty durable. Um, get the memory out of the way. It also comes with uh, they call this thermal paste, but it's just, uh, thermal pads. Uh, you get two bags with them. And you actually get you actually get an extra screw in the bag. These plastic things are if you have low profile memory. It actually helps adjust the memory inside of inside of the chassis here. It also comes with a uh, a screwdriver and a uh, RGB extender um, and the instructions, which they're right here, and we know what we do with instructions around here. Just toss it. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and. Close this up, set this aside. I'll get to what this box is here in a second, because I'm going to go over some things as well with you. So let's go ahead and pull out the memory sticks real quick. At least I'll open them up. These are two four, two four gig sticks. Um, if you have been following my channel, you know we're doing a we did a we did a retro build part one and part two and we're actually doing a part three and we're actually going to be using this and in, in the next in the next installment that will be the final installment so if uh if you want to see that and you like what you see here press a like subscribe Hit that bell notification, and we thank you. So there's actually two screws. And I don't know if you can see. Yeah, there it is. There's two screws. There's one here, and there's one here, right there. So it comes with a nice nifty, nice nifty screwdriver here as well. So you're just going to unscrew them like so. There's only two. Put 
that up aside. So now you have the inside here, and this actually comes off. This is where the, the RGB shines through. The RGB strip is actually sitting right inside of here. But we don't need to take that off. Just let that go right like that. So if you look at your modules, um, you've got your memory chips on both sides. So I'm going to actually take the, the, thermal, the thermal tape and put it on this side and then there's another deal inside here we're going to put it on this side and when when both of them are on and you put it together it holds the ram right in place it don't it don't fall out so but what we're going to do is put those pads on They are uh, just the length of the the memory, so it's got a, a one side stick adhesive once you get it off. Um, I know this is older RAM, but I know that there are some some pre builds out there that you buy. And they put the they put the cheaper cheaper RAMs in, RAM in there. You only ever see Corsair or like I got Viper Steel in there. You hardly ever see that in there. But you're gonna put that it, that that strip right down the middle and see it it, it actually follows the, the the stick from end to end with no overlapping. Um, the other the other thing I want to mention so. You got the RGB wires here, so that's actually going to go to the top of the board. If you're not familiar on how to, to install memory sticks, almost every single stick has some kind of a serial number sticker on it, and that always faces towards the I.O. or the, the CPU. So you know that when you put this together, this is going to be on the top. So this part here is going to sit down, but we're going to put this other on real quick before we do that. And I'm actually going to show you after we get done with this, I'm going to show you how to install RAM onto a motherboard if you don't know how. So this is going to be a nice little tutorial, kind of like that last, that last one I did with the with the CPU ins installation and thermal paste demonstration. Sorry, it was a a lack. So and then not up against there. Line it up. If you look here, this this strip here where the LED is, is just the length of the of the module. So just line up the two corners, and, and you're right on. Then you just take this, set it in there like that. Grab your trusty dusty screwdriver. It's a really, really small head on there on that screw. And then there you go. You got it on. So now you know that this part here is going to go towards the CPU for one, because you put the, the RAM in there with the, the barcode facing down. But the way I'm looking at it is this is going to go on the top of the motherboard. 
So when you put it in there, you're not going to get it wrong. Plus, we got these notches here. And we'll go over that whenever I go install it on the motherboard. But this notch here on that motherboard, there's going to be a, a notch that's got to line up. And we'll adjust that in a second. But we're going to put this other one on real quick. And uh, we'll get that motherboard in here and we'll we'll go over what what this box is real quick when I get done with, with this part. So just uh, the small teaser. I plan on having part three out on Halloween, which is next Saturday. For those who are waiting for it, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys this twice. That way. You can see it doesn't take any effort at all. To do this. Line that up on the edge. Hold that down. It goes right there. You can just flip her over. Line it up. Pop it down. And it's good to go. Grab the shield. Trusty dusty screwdriver. Tighten them down and we'll be good. I'll grab this motherboard. So there you go. That's it. So we've got six or four of these. And they will stack up to be 16 gigs. So, how about them apples? We'll go ahead and set this down here. Okay, if you if you watched the retro build part one, this is the motherboard that, that was in there. I uh, use this same motherboard on that last video with the with the um, uh, CPU uh, so if you did see part part one these dims are, are old so most of the time when you get them in there they actually click into place so you remember when I was talking about these notches on here you see the notch right there if you actually look on this, on these dims here, these dim slots, you've got notches, and those notches actually line up with with them. Let's see if I can get it closer so you can see. So they're right here. See the notch? So if you've never installed RAM before, you'll know that. And remember what I was telling you about. On the one side, it's got the uh, serial number. It's got the serial number or what have you. So why we put it on there, and now we we have the RGB. So this is the top, and this is the bottom of the board. So we're gonna we know that it's gonna go in like this because we set it up to where the, the cable is going to the top. So when you put them in here. 
it should slide in. Now it's not in all the way yet. So you hear a click. I think one of these dims will be okay to hear that click. So see now it's in. We'll install another one. You hear them click? These two are kind of janky, so the other thing too is if you look on your on your memory, you have these notches here on both sides. If you can see that or not. They're actually gonna slide in to those grooves there. And this one here I'm gonna have to kind of help it along the way. Old board. Hey, there you go. See, rookie mistake. That's what you don't want to do. So I'm going to set this aside for a second and I'm going to show you what this is. Uh, I'll probably go over this again on the retro build, but I bought one of these uh, RGB remote switches. It actually comes with a Molex to uh, regular power, so that'll plug into there. But SATA as well. It comes with SATA. If you want to see more on how I arrange all this stuff in that build, uh, we have to wait for the part three to come out. It does come with a remote, the RGB remote. So what we're going to actually do. is hook all these up like i said it's got sata and molex so more than likely you're going to be using sata no there it goes just a bad connection never know what you're going to get around here. Okay, so now that we've seen how we uh, install all that, we can go ahead and turn the uh, RGB lights on and see what they look like. Ooh, they're bright. So that looks like that's blue. You got green. You got red. Yellow. Dark green. A cyan or what have you. I'm sure it's so bright you can't really see see the color. Some of them are slightly shaded. Uh, this is smooth. Not look very smooth to me, but um, then you got fade. You got strobe. I think I like the strobe the best. And then you have flash. And then you can actually turn it to white. So that's that's pretty neat. Uh, so I picked these up on Amazon. There's you get two of them and they're 15 bucks. So that's not that's not too terrible. Uh, yeah, so...
All right, that's it for me. One more time, I want to shout out to Will. Congratulations, Will. Good job on 1,000 subscribers. Check him out. I'll, send, I'll put that link below, like I said earlier in the video. So, have a good day. Bye.